Pew, pew. Huh? <laughs> well, hello everyone, and welcome to turn three of this Denmark hot seat campaign. Well, I'm playing as Denmark. We have things we wish to discuss. Okay, so they've come back to me. One offered them military access so we could pass through our lands. And they want me to give them 500 florins. So, I'll make a counter offer. I'm not going to give you 500 florins. It's that, dear ally. That's, that's, what, that's what we want. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to go with no for now. Okay, so, in terms of financial, the Hereditary Kingdom of Norway is the best. Militarily, the Teutonic Order is the best. Okay, so we are at war with Novgorod. Uh, the reason behind that is the fact that um, I basically had an ultimatum from Legend of Total War saying that he'll give me a bit of money if I give him these two cities. Orders, my king. So... And there was no way I was really going to hold on to them. Um, so we're actually sending a ship up here. And that's going to... Is that going to affect my money? Oh, blimey. Yeah, we're in the... We're not doing well monetarily, Orders, so... We're going to start off by... Men, march. Combining troops. Taking Kalmar. We should have enough troops to do that now. Hail to you, most noble ally. Yes. Okay. So that is currently under siege as well. Right. So if I take a look at I needed my lists. I need my lists scroll. Thank you. Diplomat merchant. Where is yes. our spy? Scara, yeah. Moving into position. Okay, so he's Norway's taking all of those settlements. There's nothing I can do to take those. So I'll get my spy back down here. I think that might be my only spy as well. It is. Okie dokie. So I'll move them up to Revel for this turn, and then I'll move them out on turn four. I mean, I'm hoping that he'll give me a chance to actually get my troops out of there. Just taking a sip of coffee, though it's a bit too hot at the moment to drink. How may I I'll get my priest out here. It's only 53% Catholic. Right. So, if I position my men down there, we'll have to increase the tax rate here. Ross skill will also have to do that. Can't afford to do it there. Right, so I'm pretty yes. confident I can take that settlement now. Does that improve my monetary situation? <laughs> Marching to battle with pride, Lord. Right. So I shall now assault this settlement. I outnumber them two to one. My prince is here. What do they have? They've got a couple of crossbow militia, Viking raiders, mailed knights. Okay, so I imagine we are going to take some casualties because I, I am not the best at medieval two. Especially takes me a long time to warm up. <laughs> As you can probably tell from having uh, seen the Athens campaign. At this, uh, so, yeah. Right, before we start off by deploying. Okay. To 
Dismounted house calls. We're gonna go there. Right, we do have a lot of missile troops as well. Okay. Blimey, how many... Right, well, we'll start getting those along there. I'm hoping that's not going to take too much damage. They have Viking raiders up here, peasants there. I'll be frank, we are going to take a lot of casualties. If I can actually take this at all. I'm just not that confident at the moment. Look at the amount of dead that have already got littered. Okay. So you fire. So my dismounted house calls are taking a lot of casualties already. If I can get those open, then that would be great. Except at the moment, we've lost almost 10% of our men. This is the importance of having spies, everyone. Something that I have not just... Not done again. Our siege oh. have reached the walls. Now the butcher's red work begins. Drop the ram, Drop the ram guys. Charge on in there. So I thought my house cars would be pretty good, but maybe not. Okay, I may get a couple of... Can you even dismount? I don't think you guys can, can you? Okay, we've got Viking Raiders there. We've only got Peasant Archers going up there. We've got Dismounted House Carls preparing themselves for the attack. Defeat seems certain going against Peasants. Okay, so in they go, the peasant archers. They're not going to do very well. Oh dear. Very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Taking a lot of casualties here. Right, we'll charge the cavalry in, see if we can't get through into the city. The Lord is with us today. We have captured the enemy's walls. Okay, so... I might as well go for the city centre. Just take it and get the battle over and done with. Ah. Okay. Let's hope my generals don't die. That would be a pain in the arse. Oh my god. Can't believe I've lost 36%. Only half the enemy force remains. That is just terrible. So far, I don't hold much hope for me winning this, Aussie. <laughs> if I'm fighting like this. The only good thing about this is that my upkeep will drop. <laughs> if that is a if that is a benefit.
But yeah, the peasants aren't going to last long. My lord, our the enemy general lies. All huh. civilized peoples will be awed by the victory we have won yeah. today. Not a good victory at all. But we've taken a settlement, so that's good. <laughs> the enemy lies defeated. We are victors. Strength, honor, and victory. Um. Yeah, we're just going to occupy. We don't need to do anything else apart from that. Okay, dokie. So that has helped my economy greatly. Holders, my king. So we've merged them. Yes. Holders, my king. Enemy army routes. Prince Charles. Very good. Sire. No. Okie dokie. Day, my lord. Trusted friends. Send the diplomat to me. Can I help, my lord? Honored friends. Let us hear your proposition. Farewell. Hand them over there. Your Majesty. Do I seek a suit of you, or just a signature? I will not be refused. Oh! Do not try to stop me, father. What started as a cunning act of seduction on my part has utterly backfired. Your noble princess has fallen entirely for the man you sent her to bring to court. Oh. Well, that's that then. <laughs> can, do I have any places that can recruit? A spy. Can get a spy there. So there's no point in me even finishing off construction of that. So I'll get rid of that. Okay, so I will just... recruit a longboat so I can sail on my merry way because there isn't there isn't any point <laughs> like I could try and hold it but I don't really think there is much point in trying to hold the settlement of Revel uh, yeah I do have a lot of men there God's servant. so on my way but he's already set up a fort that yeah I can't really hold this very well. I especially don't even have a general in Revel. So that's annoying. Hmm. Uh. No, there's no. Okay, yeah, I'll recruit a long ship, a long boat, and then I will be on my merry way. Um, I'm not actually sure how I can... Ah. So I've sent an email to Russia, or a message, that is. Longboat in Revel, and we'll leave next turn. So, I will get my army out of there. See what the Teutonic Order is up to. Until morning, my They've been very quiet. Where to? Um. Right. And let's send a message to the Holy Roman Empire. There we go. So I've asked him if he'd like an alliance. I'm pretty sure he won't go for that, but we can try nevertheless. We'll send a diplomat down anyway. Okay, so they've just got some ships exploring. Um, I will construct roads everywhere that I can. I would like to get my troops around. Can't retrain anyone because we're not in a castle, I don't believe. So that's annoying. Yes. Okay, 
I think that's as much as I can do for turn three. Yes, my lord. On Windau. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's lost for me there. <laughs> Shame. But. My lord. Da, da, da. Want to check that course again, my lord? Riga. Set sail. Yes, my lord. Okay. Right, I'll end it there for turn three. I hope you've all enjoyed it. We're actually going to be making a bit of money next turn, so we'll get that from Kalmar. Uh, okay. Right. End the turn. And that's where I'll leave it. I will just now save the game. And it will be... On goal. Turn three. There we are. Game saved. And on to the next person. Goodbye for now, everyone.